Secretary and Secretary Chu for being here. Part of this new revolution, this new industrial revolution based on clean energy. We do a unisolar products, which are essentially a thin film, lightweight laminate that generates electricity from sunlight, and it goes very easily on rooftops. So this is about distributed power generation. It's about low impact to a roof. But let me first of all talk about Greenville, Michigan. A couple years ago, there was a large factory in Greenville. Greenville has a population of about 8,000 folks. And this factory employed 3,000 people in this small city in the Midwest. Uh, that factory closed. This small town was in significant distress. We now have two factories in Greenville, Michigan. These are unisolar factories. We have a total of five factories in Michigan today. What we've done is we have reinvigorated these towns through employing folks. We've had to retrain them. A lot of these folks come from the automotive industry. We've partnered with local universities to give them the right skills for these, right, these clean energy jobs. These are good jobs. These are jobs that you can raise a family on. These are high tech jobs. And these are very well sought after. In fact, we screen the folks that come in because there's so many applicants for these programs and we take the best and the brightest and they really help us produce high quality products and we get excellent productivity out of our workforce. It's interesting, there's a story that uh, one uh, gentleman told me on his way home, he doesn't want to wear his unisolar shirt from Greenville, Michigan because he gets stopped often and he's late for dinner on his way home because people want to thank him for saving the town. So it's a great story, but we have, we're just starting the journey. We've got a long way to go. In fact, this recession is in fact hurting many industries, including uh, our industry as well. Um, I just want to talk with you about the benefits of solar. It's just part of a, a major portfolio that is needed for clean renewable energy. But if you think about distributed power generation, every time I fly into any airport and I look out the window and I look at all these rooftops, there's nothing happening on those rooftops. We can generate electricity. We're working with new technologies. We produce nine miles of solar laminates every day. And we're on the road to ramping to what we call a levelized cost of energy or grid parity, and we're continuing to advance that technology. If we could generate this electricity on these rooftops at the point of use, you don't further burden the transmission grid. You don't have to lay additional transmission grid. You're not using space that could otherwise be used. And obviously, you're generating electricity uh, at the peak of the day when the costs tend to be the highest as well. It's interesting to note that 80% of our products that we manufacture in the United States today are shipped over to Europe. They go to France, they go to Italy, they go to Spain, they go to Germany. These countries have embraced forward-looking programs where they have created incentives that are stable, that investors are willing to uh, put money behind, and it's created an entire infrastructure, not only of manufacturing, marketing, and sales and installation, but also a lot of job growth that's gone along with this right across the, the value chain of activities. It's very interesting because this next new industrial revolution, it's, it's so exciting because this is now beginning to happen in the United States. In fact, the programs that are being done uh, here through the DOE Loan Guarantee Program, the, the tax incentives, uh, a lot of the activities that are being uh, pushed forward by the government, the DOE, we want to thank the DOE. It must be a tremendous task to be able to go through and initiate all of these new programs that are all coming out at once. At the same time, we need to open that spigot because the funds need to flow faster. We need to create the market opportunity, and not just through manufacturing incentives, but right through the value chain uh, for renewables. And this is the kind of incentives and stability that's needed, so we certainly applaud all of the, uh, the conversation that's been happening today. It's also very important for us to recognize uh, that when you think about the amount of carbon uh, and the cost of carbon, that it's clearly not a, an equalized playing field. Uh, we are on a new industrial revolution that really requires us to think and to invest differently. We've got the right technologies. We're improving those technologies, but we need the stability and, and the amount of incentives 
and, and the economic environment to continue to on this path and on this journey to grid parity. So I'd like to thank the Obama administration for all the help and assistance and partnering, and we look forward to, to further our partnership in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Mark.